Language Foundations Vocabulary Flashcards, helping you achieve understanding. One of a pair. One eye was blue but its fellow was brown. A man who is the lover of a man or woman. A person who is member of one's class or profession. He sent email to his fellow hackers. A friend who is frequently in the company of another. An informal form of address for a man. Say, fellow, what are you doing? A boy or man. There's a fellow at the door. A member of a learned society. He was elected a fellow of the American Physiological Association. The officer below the master on a commercial ship. A person's partner in marriage. A chess move constituting an inescapable and indefensible attack on the opponent's king. One of a pair. He lost the mate to his shoe. South American holly. Leaves used in making a drink like tea. Place an opponent's king under an attack from which it cannot escape and thus ending the game. Kasparov checkmated his opponent after only a few moves. A fellow member of a team. It was his first start against his former teammates. Engage in sexual intercourse. Birds mate in the spring. Bring two objects, ideas, or people together. An exact duplicate. Informal term for a friend of the same sex. South American tea-like drink made from leaves of a South American holly called mate. The partner of an animal, especially a sexual partner. He loved the mare and all her mates. A man who is the lover of a man or woman. A man who is much concerned with his dress and appearance. A man who is the lover of a man or woman. If I'd known he was her boyfriend I wouldn't have asked. A man who is the lover of a man or woman. An associate that one works with. A person who is member of one's class or profession. The surgeon consulted his colleagues. A person who is member of one's class or profession. Make a logical or causal connection. Keep company with. Hang out with. He associates with strange people. A degree granted by a two-year college on successful completion of the undergraduate's course of studies. A friend who is frequently in the company of another. Bring or come into association or action. Any event that usually accompanies or is closely connected with another. First was the lightning and then its thunderous associate. A person who joins with others in some activity or endeavor. He had to consult his associate before continuing. A person with subordinate membership in a society, institution, or commercial enterprise. Associates in the law firm bill at a lower rate than do partners. Having partial rights and privileges or subordinate status. An associate member. A traveler who accompanies you. Be a companion to somebody. A friend who is frequently in the company of another. Drinking companions. One paid to accompany or assist or live with another. A friend who is frequently in the company of another. Comrades in arms. Used as a term of address for those male persons engaged in the same movement. Greetings, comrade. 
a fellow member of the Communist Party. Usually followed by, with, well informed about or knowing thoroughly. Familiar with the complex machinery. Having mutual interests or affections, of established friendship. On familiar terms. A spirit, usually in animal form, that acts as an assistant to a witch or wizard. A friend who is frequently in the company of another. A person attached to the household of a high official, as a pope or bishop, who renders service in return for support. Well known or easily recognized. A familiar figure. Within normal everyday experience. Common and ordinary, not strange. Familiar ordinary objects found in every home. A person born in the generation following the baby boom when the birth rate fell dramatically. A person who breaks horses. An informal form of address for a man. Hey Buster, what's up? A person, or thing, that breaks up or overpowers something. Damn Buster. A robust child. A man who is much concerned with his dress and appearance. An informal form of address for a man. A persistently annoying person. A boy or man. A boy or man. He's a good bloke. A long narrow depression in a surface. A boy or man. That chap is your host. A crack in a lip caused usually by cold. Crack due to dehydration. My lips chap in this dry weather. Usually in the plural, leather leggings without a seat, joined by a belt, often have flared outer flaps, worn over trousers by cowboys to protect their legs. Profane or obscene expression usually of surprise or anger. A persistently annoying person. Utter obscenities or profanities. A boy or man. He's a likable cuss. A boy or man. A person who fells trees. A boy or man. Port city in northwestern Belgium an industrial center, famous for cloth industry. A boy or man. Informal abbreviation of, gentleman. A male child, a familiar term of address to a boy. A boy or man. A set containing a single member. A single object, as distinguished from a pair. The playing card that is the only card in a suit held in a bridge hand as initially dealt. Someone who serves in the armed forces, a member of a military force. An adult person who is male, as opposed to a woman. A manservant who acts as a personal attendant to his employer. Jeeves was Bertie Wooster's man. One of the British Isles in the Irish Sea. Any living or extinct member of the family hominidae characterized by superior intelligence, articulate speech, and erect carriage. All of the living human inhabitants of the earth. She always used, humankind, because, mankind, seemed to slight the women. Game equipment consisting of an object used in playing certain board games. A male person who plays a significant role, husband or lover or boyfriend, in the life of a particular woman. She takes good care of her man. A male subordinate. He awaited word from his man in Havana. 
an adult male person who has a manly character, virile and courageous competent. The army will make a man of you. Provide with workers. We cannot man all the desks. Take charge of a certain job. Occupy a certain workplace. Mr. Smith manned the reception desk in the morning. The generic use of the word to refer to any human being. It was every man for himself. An adult person who is male, as opposed to a woman. An ardent follower and admirer. A person who loves someone or is loved by someone. A significant other to whom you are not related by marriage. A member of the Religious Society of Friends founded by George Fox. The Friends have never called themselves Quakers. A person who backs a politician or a team etc. They are friends of the library. An associate who provides cooperation or assistance. A person with whom you are acquainted. We are friends of the family. A person you know well and regard with affection and trust. He was my best friend at the university. Characteristic of a man. A deep male voice. A person who belongs to the sex that cannot have babies. An animal that produces gametes, spermatozoa, that can fertilize female gametes, ova. Being the sex, of plant or animal, that produces gametes, spermatozoa, that perform the fertilizing function in generation. A male infant. For or pertaining to or composed of men or boys. The male lead. The capital of Maldives in the center of the islands. A person who belongs to the sex that cannot have babies. One of the persons who compose a social group, especially individuals who have joined and participate in a group organization. The male sex organ, member, is a euphemism. One of the persons who compose a social group, especially individuals who have joined and participate in a group organization. Only members will be admitted. An external body part that projects from the body. An organization that is a member of another organization, especially a state that belongs to a group of nations. The library was a member of the Interlibrary Loan Association. Anything that belongs to a set or class. Snakes are members of the class Reptilia. A companion at play. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.